How's it going everyone? My name is Charlie. This is my Great Dane puppy Roxy. In today's video we are going to be talking about the pros and cons of owning a Great Dane. And what I really want you to be thinking of is not as much as this harsh good and bad but the things you get to look forward to the most when having a Great Dane and some of the challenges that you might need to overcome or consider before purchasing a Great Dane. And one of those that we're gonna start out with is how affectionate they are and how much attention they both want and how much attention they give you. Now there are some people that would absolutely adore having such a large dog that wants to be their lap dog. Great Danes want to be at your feet, they want to be on your lap, they want to be kissing you in the face. And for some people that can feel like a lot or that's a little much or some people you know might want some more space from the dog that they bring into their home but that is part of the love that comes with the Great Dane big dog bigger heart Great Danes just have an incredible loyal and loving temperament that is super friendly you know, when I'm taking Roxy out for a walk and we meet other dogs, I don't need to be worried about her being aggressive with the other dogs. A potential challenge you can run into with a Great Dane is do you have an adequate amount of space for your dog? Do you have a car that is large enough for a Great Dane? I myself have a Chevy Aveo and I will need to be upgrading that very soon because Roxy is very quickly outgrowing the back seat that I have. Another thing you can look forward to about having a Great Dane is that they make excellent watchdogs. They're obviously not used as often in the guard and protection roles, but they are very alert and with their big booming bark, they will be able to let anyone around know that I see something. Another one of the biggest challenges with owning a Great Dane is cost. They can be expensive breeds when buying from a reputable breeder, but also everything about a Great Dane is going to cost more because whatever it is, is bigger or a larger quantity, more fabric, whatever it might be that you're buying for them, you know, is going to cost more. There will probably be less options because there's few dogs as large as a Great Dane or in that extra large dog category. Another thing to love about the Great Dane is just their amazing coat and the fact that it's so low maintenance for how often you actually need to groom your dog, how much shedding they do. So in comparison to other breeds, the Great Dane has one of the easiest coats to take care of and even though it's super easy to take care of, it still looks amazing. One of the potential challenges is the fact that with their size, you need to make sure that you are getting them an adequate amount of training for what is good behavior. Because if you have a tiny dog that likes to jump up on people, it could be adorable to some people, annoying to some people, but it's not exactly dangerous the way that if you have a 150 pound dog jumping up on people, that is, that is absolutely dangerous and your dog can be a liability if they do not have proper manners when it comes to how they interact with people. So another thing that you can look forward to about the Great Dane is that they are a rather trainable dog. Obviously, they're not at the levels of the Belgian Malinois or the German Shepherd, the Doberman, or some of these police and military dogs, but when it comes to the basic obedience of what you look for in a loyal, loving companion, sit, stay, heal, word association with different parts of the house. Great Danes are actually very receptive to this, although you do have to be gentle about your methods of teaching because they are very sensitive. One of the sad truths about Great Danes is that they have a shorter lifespan compared to smaller dogs. A lot of larger dogs suffer from hip and elbow dysplasia, they can suffer from bloat or thyroid problems. And even though lucky Great Danes might live eight to 10 years, it is more common for them to live for, you know, six to eight years, which is incredibly sad for how loving they are and how attached you will become to this breed. Well, that's all we got for you today, everyone. If there are things that you love about your Great Dane that I forgot to mention, or if you're having different challenges that I didn't list, 
feel free to share those in the comments below. And as always, we appreciate all of your support. We look forward to seeing you at our next episode, and thanks for rocking with us.